Change can be powerful. It helps you improve, forget, and heal. However, it's not always easy to recognize when you need to do it. In today's video, let's explore some signs you need to change to help you grow for the better. First is ignoring core commitments. What things in life do you feel like you always sabotage? Do you continually switch jobs, jump from one diet to another, or frequently argue with someone about the smallest things? Inner conflict happens when you don't honor your core commitments and needs. According to Brianna Weist, international best-selling author of the self-help book The Mountain Is You, Core commitments are your primary objectives in life. Examples are being in control, being free, or being loved. Your core need, on the other hand, is the opposite of your core commitment. The more you ignore your core need, the louder your core commitment symptoms will be. Here's an example. If your core commitment is to feel loved by others, then your core need is self-love. If you don't honor that need, you may go to extreme lengths just to feel love, such as lowering your self-worth, getting consumed by superficial standards, and more. This can sabotage your chances of having a healthy relationship with yourself and with others. Next, the Peter Pan syndrome. Peter Pan's story, although fantastic and magical, is quite tragic and sad. He's a boy who fears growing old. Because of this, he chooses to live in Neverland, a place with never-ending fun and adventures. While other kids grow up and take on responsibilities, Peter Pan remains forever young and alone. Even though it's a children's story, they are real-life Peter Pans. In 1983, psychologist Dr. Dan Kelly published a book about Peter Pan syndrome, which outlines the characteristics of adults who refuse to grow up. They struggle with commitment, avoid issues and responsibilities, rely on others, and more. And if they are Peter Pans, then of course they are Wendy's. They're romantic partners or people who tolerate the other person's lack of accountability. They also end up doing all the work. It's good to have a little child at heart Peter Pan in all of us, but don't let it interfere with your natural development. Failure is normal and life is full of chances. As J.M. Barry, the creator of Peter Pan says, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. Barry also says, if you cannot teach me to fly, teach me to sing. Next is stagnation. Do you watch Haikyuu? If yes, then you must be familiar with the iconic hype scene when Tsukushima gets hooked on volleyball. Tsukushima, one of the main characters of the show, started out indifferent and unmotivated to take volleyball seriously due to a bad previous experience. However, this changed during one particularly challenging match. Similarly, you can't proceed to the next level if you don't get honest with yourself and put in interest and commitment. Stagnation is not entirely bad, it depends on where you want to go and who you want to be. Think about the past six months. If you rarely find anything that makes you feel proud or motivated, it may be time for a change. Next, 70% life. Do you go through life feeling like you're not experiencing it fully just because you haven't achieved a certain goal? For example, having weight issues may make you feel that you can't get into a relationship or be happy because you don't have your dream body. Because of this, you live every day at 70%, not 100. If you're like this, we highly encourage you to break that mindset immediately. Why? Because according to professor and author Nir Eyal, humans are not wired for contentment. If you keep living life at 70%, there's a chance you will maintain it that way. From an evolutionary perspective, the lack of eternal satisfaction and pleasure is what made our ancestors strive harder to survive and evolve. According to Nir Eyal, if you achieve a certain goal, you will likely just move on to another one. There's no, if I'm gonna do this then I'll be happy. No, that happiness starts with you and it can happen today. Work hard on your goals, play harder, and don't be afraid to dream. Live life to the fullest, no matter how cliche it may sound, because you never know which day is your last. For motivation, you can watch six things to remember when you doubt yourself. 